Hey there, uh, music geeks out there. Um, wanted to show off this here modular that I just finished. So first of all, this is a 4MS um, Pod 48. You can see the 4MS logo there, just kind of. Hopefully I can get the light right. There it is. Um, so, and it's filled with the Harvestman, uh, the five modules they made, which are clones of the original Polyvox modules. Um, so I got, what's cool about this, and the reason that it took me so long, it took me about three years to finish this thing, is because I got them all on the used market. And it's because some of these modules you have to get on the used market. Some of them are really hard to find new. Um, but uh, anyway, about three years ago, I had this, I started with this one, and then I got this one uh, used, both of these used, and I was like, you know what would be really cool is if I could find all these. Well, then it took me a long time to find this one. And I just found this one last year. And then finally, just today, literally a couple hours ago, I got this one in the mail and I just put this together. So um, if you're not familiar with these modules, this one here, I need two hands to do this. This one here is the um, modulator module. It's noise, sample, hold, LFO. This one is the oscillator. It's a um, Basic uh, oscillator module has the original Russian chip. You can see it on the back when you flip the module over. This is the filter. It's a clone of the filter, has band pass and low pass. This is a VCA on this side and an envelope generator on this side. It's, it's uh, normal together internally so that you can uh, send one gate and, and trigger both things. Um, but you can also use each piece separately if you wish. And then this is the sub octave divider pattern after the lighter guitar pedal. Um, so it's a sub-octave generator. And so together, these are the five modules that they did. They called this the Iron Curtain series. And so like I said, it took me a few years, but I managed to amass these modules on the used market. Um, when I started, let's put it this way, these pods didn't even exist when I started. So my original plan was I had a Pittsburgh Cell 48 that I was going to use because that was the only 48 HP case that I could find. Then this pod came out, and I was like, that's way better. It's light. Um, so anyway... So it's kind of a fun little module, uh, or modular, I guess. It's its own little self-contained modular. Of course, I can use it with the other gear in the studio, um, you know, together with that. But it also is just a cool little thing by itself. So um, let's try uh, patching up a few things and see what we can get. Thank <laughs> you. 